Hey guys, um, today we have the Zoe EC2 Evo review and I apologize for waiting so long. It's my fault. No one else's. I take the blame. So regardless, are an hour away, shall we? So the EC2 Evo is basically the same mouse as the EC2 except it has a new sensor from Avago because they stopped making the old sensor. So the new sensor is predictionless. There is no prediction. It has a fairly good malfunction speed. Let me pull those numbers up real quick for you. You have a mouse one, a mouse two, a mouse three, and a mouse four, and a mouse five. So you get pretty good mouse buttons. On the bottom, you get two very large, Teflon mouse feed, just like the other ones. You have your DPI switcher, which changes your DPI. And you get 450, 1150, and 3200 as your options. And I'm going to plug in this mouse sometime today, and I will show you uh, the switcher, switcher -roo. So until then, on the outside, you have a soft touch rubber matte finish, which I don't really like. It's not that great. It's really slippery, actually, which could be because of my hands, but it's, pre it's pretty slippery. So I'm going to say it's a slippery rubber, if that makes sense. Um, so here's the switching of the scroll wheel. So right now we're on 450. Now we're on 1150. And then that is 2300. So, there you go. I'm gonna put that back because 2300 is ridiculous. As far as performance goes, like I was mentioning earlier, um, it has a new 3090 sensor from Avago. Uh, the malfunction speed that I tested was around 2.4 to 2.6 meters per second. Uh, this mouse, um, just like every other mouse with the sensor in it, has issues with multicolored mouse pads. This, this mouse pad, the PCN, does not count because it actually tracks really well. But like the QCK Team Editions, um, you're going to drop your malfunction rate in almost in half uh, for uh, fast movements on multicolored mouse pads. And this mouse pad's okay. This, 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 this for some reason, doesn't malfunction the mouse. Um, like I said before, there's no prediction. Um, there's no jittering on... Uh, low, lower DPI. Uh, let's see if I can bring up the... No, I don't have it saved on my desktop. Let me bring up... Yeah, there's no jittering actually on any of the DPIs to a severe amount. Uh, 2300 is a little bit uh, shaky, but so you get a little bit of interpolation on 2300 from what I could tell. But for the best performance of this mouse when I tested it was actually 1150 DPI and 1000 hertz. So I would try to keep it around there. 450 performed pretty well too. Um, but I was starting to hit slight negative acceleration a little bit quicker than I was with 1150. So I think 1150 is the sweet spot in the EC2 Evo as uh, is on the Zoe AM because they use the same sensor. So all in all, uh, good uh, job from Zoe. The only thing I wish they would improve on next time is the mouse wheel. It's still kind of loose and it's still like, you see how loose that is? Oh wait, it's off the screen. It's pretty loose. I don't know. The amount that my thumb is moving is the amount that the mouse wheel is moving. I don't, you can't see in the video very well, but it's pretty, yeah, there you go. So they need to improve on that, make it a little bit tighter. The Zoe AM's mouse wheel is very, very nice, and it's it's a great mouse wheel. They they really should have just taken that mouse wheel and put it on this guy. Um, but as far as ghost scrolling, there's none of that stuff. So overall, good job. If you like the EC2, uh, if you own the EC2, this in my opinion really isn't an upgrade. It's sort of like a stalemate, the same thing basically. But if you want to try a new form factor and you like the uh, Intelli Mouse 3.0. Definitely go with the EC2 or EC1. The EC1's a little bit bigger than this guy. 
uh, about like 10% bigger. So if you have bigger hands, obviously go with that. If you have smaller hands, go with EC2. I just like small mice, so this is the one I'm reviewing. So make sure you check out the website, check out the Zoe's website, and make sure you check out the full text review. That way, huh. there we go. So that way, uh, <laughs> I'm leaving that in the video. I'm not redoing this thing. So uh, laugh away, but make sure you check out the full text review. So that way, um, you uh, some questions that you might have might be answered. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching, and I apologize for the camera falling. So uh, I apologize, Zoe, and all of the people who are watching this all the way to the end. But thanks for watching.